Hello everybody, it is Tristan, and what? Where are we? We are in my brand new, um, my brand new tutorial world for Redstone. I went into MC Edit, I believe, yes, and I just put cloth all over the place. It ends over here, see? Anywho, why? Because I just, I don't know, it looks nice to me looks nice on the cloth. Okay, so this is the very first t redstone tutorial, and so for the very first redstone tutorial we'll be covering the basics. This is redstone. It is currently off. Okay, that's what redstone looks like when it's on. Off, on. Okay. See, and you put it in a line, and then just glow stuff. Redstone is used to power things such as doors. Watch. This is a lever. Levers change the redstone's current. Now, typically you'd be using steel doors since wood do wooden doors you can open with your hands. Now, the one limit that redstone has, well, has a lot of limits, is that power only travels 15 blocks. I don't know if this is 15 blocks. We're about to find out. Oh, good. Just barely. This is 16. It only goes 15 blocks. After that, it dies. And you may be thinking, well, this sucks. Now everything has to be really small. It does not. There are ways to extend it. This, for example, is called a not gate. It is called a NOT NOT gate, because if this is on, the output is NOT. You get it? And, let's just see. See? If it's on, that's off. If it's off, that's on. Now this may get confusing if you're trying to do something very long. So there's what is called a NOT NOT. And for this, you simply place one torch here. Connect that to redstone on top of a block which has this on the side and this could be on any side you want it doesn't really matter, it works the same either way see? and um, that makes it so that if that's on, the output is on so that keeps everything sort of simple now you can have as many you can have a current go as far as you want as long as each individual section does not exceed 15 as long as it is accompanied by a not not or not every 15 blocks at least at the most. So this is a not not. That's all fine and dandy, but let's say you have a door and you want to open it from two places. You want to open it from right next to the door, outside obviously. However. You also want to be able to open it from the top of your castle. Say if there was a friend, if you were playing multiplayer or something. I don't know. Let's just just roll with it. Okay. Now you'd have this run. I, will that work? No. Okay. Grr. It sometimes doesn't work like it should. Fine, we'll have to do it the long way. There. And then you also want it to come from here. This does not work anymore. See? And of course, you could just have two separate things going into it. So that this works. And this way. Oh, no, it doesn't work well. Let me just readjust where the redstone is. Where the red fern grows. Okay. And this works. However, let's say you have this on, and you're over here and you want to close the door. You can't. Which is why the OR gate was developed. And the OR gate is very simple. 
it is simply an OR gate with multiple inputs. And so the OR gate was developed. Now it still has the same sort of um, of problem that the door has, in that if one is on, the other still will not open it or close it, depending on how it was set up. However, it does make it so you only need one going into the door. Okay. And I think that's the, all for this tutorial. We did, we did, we went through regular redstone the not, not gate and the or gate and in the next story we'll be going through the and gate which is very useful and 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 that's all for this tutorial bye